Hi, welcome to another video. If you're uh, new to the channel, then very, very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. And if you're not, well, thanks for coming back. So anyway, today's a little bit different. We're going south today. Well, kind of south. Whereas normally we'd be going north towards the Peak District. However, we're not really going out to play radio, although we might end up playing radio. You never know. So Teddy and I are in the camper van. Jane's gone off up to Scotland to see relatives for the weekend and I thought it was a good opportunity to meet up with a friend of mine called Stuart who's uh, another radio ham and he actually got his license roughly the same time as me and, and did his uh, different licenses roughly the same time and also he's been a bit of an inspiration to me in terms of some of the things that I've done as well. So the reason why we're meeting up with Stuart is because He's done me a favour and he's printed some things on his 3D printer. And these things are absolutely to do with amateur radio. Hence the reason why I thought I'd bring you along, because I thought you might be interested in seeing what he's done for me. So anyway, we're heading to a place called Castle Ring, which is uh, not very far away from where Stuart lives. I've done videos from there before. It's a really good place for VHF. So, as I say, we might end up getting the radios out and doing a little bit of radio. But, um, yeah, so I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. If you've got an FT-857, then I think this will be right up your street. Also, if you've got a Nano VNA antenna analyzer, then I think you're going to be interested in seeing this video as well. Here I am in Castle Ring, and... Is Teddy. <laughs> he just needs to be seen. He always needs to be seen on the video. Now this is Stu, M0 VTD. I've, I've, afternoon. I've already explained who you are and oh, okay. the fact that we've okay. known each other for a few years off the radio. Sure. But Stuart has kindly taken some files that I found on the internet and printed them out for me. So these are the files, but probably even more interesting is to see what they actually do. You'll probably guess just by looking at what it says on there. This is a face for the FT850D. And I need this because I'll show you what I'm using at the moment. I'm using this, which... <laughs> functional. It's functional. It does exactly the job. That's right. However, it's probably not the, uh, the best thing. So the, the idea is, because I throw this FT-857 around so much in my rucksack, I needed something to protect the knobs on the front. Hence, this, and it's absolutely brilliant. Look at that. And that, hopefully, will do the job of exactly protecting the knobs. So, mucho gracias. No problem. No problem. So that's that. So for those of you that have got an 857 and you're interested in getting that, I will put a link at the bottom of the page where you can obtain that uh, that file and then, you know, if you've got a 3D printer, you can just print it out yourself. So, yeah, as far as the Persil um, box is concerned, we don't need that. Now then, the next thing is this. So, for those of you that have seen any of the other videos that I've done on the Nano VNA, and I'm trying to do this whilst holding the camera, so, this is a Nano VNA, and you haven't seen one of these before, have you, no, Stu? No, not seen one. Well, I've seen one on, on, online, I haven't seen one in right. flesh. It's brilliant, and it's really cheap. Um, so basically, this is an air antenna analyzer, and you plug your antenna into there, and it will do all sorts of different things, like it will sweep for the SWR, and it will find the, the spots where it's resonant, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. It's not probably the easiest thing in the world to use, um, but once you get into it, for the price, it was about, I don't know, 35 quid or something ridiculous like that. And the range as well, you know, it will go from something ridiculous, like, I don't know, I don't know, really, really high to really, really low. Okay. So it's beautiful. But anyway, what Stuart's done is he's made me a case for it. Now, neither of us know how this goes together, but we've seen it, um, on the web and it comprises of five bits and it's probably better to do you um, a video when I get back home actually after I've figured out how it all goes together but basically this is a protection case for it and it sits I guess probably I don't know something in there I guess 
I think it I might. Two cutouts, ah, maybe. those two cutouts are for that, are they? Yeah. Right. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. Rather than force it and yeah. get it wrong, I will. I will spend some time on this, and I'll. I'll pick up the video uh, when I get back home after I figured out how it works. But anyway, I wanted to introduce you to Stu. And, uh, and actually, inside the van, I don't know if we can see it, but there's, there's a sneaky case of carling in there, Stu. I can't guess who that's for. Well, thank you very much. But there you go. Well, it's actually for Teddy. Well, but, being, um, being, being he'll show on Trent, so it had to be carling, didn't it? Well, do you know what I did? I went on your Facebook page <laughs> and I, I trawled <laughs> through all of the videos and photos of you sure. when you've been out and about. No, it's very kind. It's not necessary, but very kind. Well, really. you've done me a big favour there, so no, thank you fine. very, very that's much fine. for that. It's, it's been a long time coming, though, hasn't it? We've tried to arrange, obviously, with COVID and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Trying to arrange a meetup is uh, is, is pretty, pretty difficult, but uh, you've got it now. So yeah. obviously, um, I've got access to three D printers. So there you go. So anyway, we'll um, we'll pick up the rest of the video when we're at home. We'll figure out how this all goes together. But uh, yeah, big thumbs up to Stuart. Thank you very much, no Stuart. Well, while we're here, we may as well come for a walk around Castle Ring. Stuart was just telling me it's the highest point of uh, Cannock Chase, which is where we are. 800 and something feet above sea level. So, and we've got a direct line of sight to Bar Beacon. It's beautiful up here. Teddy does like Castle Ring. He's been here several times before. As you can see, some beautiful views there. Right, so here I am now back home, and um, yeah, chance to have a look at the, uh, the printed things a little bit closer, and I'm really, really impressed. So again, thanks very much, Stuart. Um, as you can see here, he's done an amazing job of printing that out. Um, it's got the FT857D logo on the front, and it's got these, uh, these standoffs. Obviously these go over the, the two knobs there and the standoffs are really just to keep it in the right place. And it just literally snaps over the front like that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come up with a way, maybe some paracord actually, um, just some paracord over and around because it doesn't, there's no way of it actually securing on. I thought about Velcro, don't know. I need to have a think about it, but, but literally all it needs is um, a strap or something like that. And uh, with the regards to the Nano VNA, let's take a look at it now and see how it all goes together. The first thing I think I need to point out is, Stuart pointed this out to me uh, when we was in the car park. So there's actually a call sign in here and clearly this is the guy, the amateur, that has created the, um, the 3D pattern. So big shout out to Echo Alpha 7 Hotel Victor Oscar. Shut up, Ted. So, let's try and figure out how this goes together. I've figured it out. Um, what you need to do is take off the front and the back, off the Nano VNA, first of all. Uh, you leave on these posts, okay, because they enable you to screw it all together. So, first of all, take the back, which is this here, and into that you've got these two holes and you've got this cut out. So your two antenna connectors go there and then these controls go there. So that's the way it's orientated. Next what you do is turn it upside down and put the back back on it so it's like, it's like that. And when you put the screws in, the screws keep it in position. Right, I've just got to uh, do a little modification to this. Right, I've just got to do a little modification with the Dremel because 
there's a, a little a reset button, I guess it is just there, and it just doesn't fit in there. Clearly this design isn't for this, um, this particular model. So let's just do a little bit of a adaptation. <laughs> Let's see how that fits. There we go. Yep, that's spot on. Right, okay, let's try, try uh, reassembling it all again. Hmm, okay, so it's clear that this isn't the right pattern for this particular one. Um, the problem I've hit that I can't get over today is these posts, these posts um, basically are um, not, not long enough. Or the easier way to put it is these screws are not long enough. So I can just about get the back on, but I can't get the front on. So I think um, I'm going to put it back together to how it was. And I'm going to get some longer screws and then I'm going to put it back together with the longer screws on. Uh, which is a shame because I'd like to have been able to show you it um, completed. But I can show you what it will look like. So hold on two seconds. Okay, so what it will look like is this. That will be on there, that will be on the front, like that, that will be on there, okay, then the screws, which are just not long enough, will be in there, then this is a cover for the front, okay, so that snaps on there nicely, yeah, that's nice and snug, and then the back will have the plate on like that and then this is a, a cover that goes on there creating this this void inside here and the idea of the void is that you can put all of your your connectors and your pigtail adapters and all that kind of stuff and even the uh, the chap that designed the pattern for this even designed a little stylus for it. So literally, you haven't got to touch it now with your fingertips, you can actually touch it with the stylus, which is really cool. So yeah, sorry I can't show it you completed, um, but do you know what? Four screws, I can get them from anywhere, so I'll get it sorted. But anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, thank you very, very, very much to Stuart as well for sorting me out, and uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and if you enjoy videos like this, then feel free, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you've liked it, well, click the like button. And uh, if you haven't liked it, well, what, what do we say to people who don't like the video, Charlie? Yeah, that's right. Click the thumbs down button. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.